I'm Detective Dave Hassan, or uh, spokesman for the Ethnic County Sheriff's Office. Um, thank you for all coming today. Um, today we are going to uh, just kind of uh, give y'all scenarios of what's going on here, uh, the most up-to-date information we can give y'all. Uh, there's still a lot of information that we cannot release uh, due to uh, just the nature of this case. And uh, I want to start off by saying at this point, we do not have anybody in custody. Uh, but I'm going to kind of go through from the beginning of this case up to what we have now that we can release to y'all. Um, we're going to start off by uh, shortly, at, shortly before 3.30 a.m. on Monday morning, Ethan County 911 received a call from a Linda Height indicating that she had been shot. Deputies responded to 2954 Springfield Egypt Road on a reports of multiple people shot. Upon their arrival, uh, they located uh, all three subjects, Linda, they uh, located Carrie, and they located Philip Height inside of the residence. Uh, Philip Height and Carrie Height were pronounced dead on the scene. Linda Height was transported to Memorial Medical Center. Uh, detectives with uh, Effingham County Sheriff's Office and GBI, we've been working around the clock uh, since the early hours of Monday morning on this case, uh, trying to piece together what happened out here. Um, in the past 18 to 24 hours, uh, we have made headway in this investigation. Uh, several items have been removed. Uh, from the residents, and uh, those items have been taken to the GBI crime lab in Savannah to be processed. Uh, they are currently being processed at the GBI crime lab. This is a horrific crime which has uh, really shocked the local community. Um, and like I said, we are working around the clock and uh, we're going to bring whoever was involved in this case to justice and we will continue to work until they are brought to justice. Um, this is an ongoing investigation and we're making significant progress in this investigation. Uh, we do thank the media for uh, all of their support and uh, y'all have been very helpful to us uh, in this investigation. And uh, we are looking for, still looking for any, any facts. If anyone out there has any knowledge of this crime uh, or any pertinent information that could be helpful to us, uh, we do encourage them to call the Effingham County Sheriff's Office or GBI. Um, GBI has also uh, been very helpful in this investigation. Uh, they were called in for additional resources and uh, they've been very helpful as well. And uh, we do thank them. And uh, you know, like we addressed it yesterday, uh, I think we put, uh, hopefully, trying to put some of the rumors to rest, and we're trying to sift through that and go for the facts of this investigation. And uh, we are still, we're still working at it right now. Uh, right now, the crime scene is uh, still in our custody right now. We still have control of the crime scene, so we still, we still have investigators on that crime scene right now going through uh, evidence tied up to loose ends. Um, right now, we also have agents and investigators uh, going around right now, uh, working different leads on this case. We do have some good solid leads, and uh, that's where we're at in this investigation. What can you tell us about the 911 call other than it was made by Linda? Like, was it before or after she was shot, and why aren't you releasing the 911 call? Um, the only thing we're releasing about the 911 call is that it did come from Linda Height. We're not releasing anything else about the 911 call. Um, it is evidence right now, and uh, you know, some of this evidence can be crucial evidence. Um, so all we're releasing is that Linda Height did make that 911 call um, to the sheriff's office, well, and uh, that's how we were notified about it. Was she conscious when they got there? Um, she the there is a 911 recording, so she was uh, you know she did suffer severe wounds, but uh, they they did look at her, and that's so that, that's all we're going to comment about the 911. Okay, call. so she obviously was conscious when they got there. Did she tell on, on the 911 tape? Does she say who shot her? Oh, uh, we're not commenting on what was said on the 911 tape at all. Um, right now, the only comment we're going to have on is that Linda Hyde did make the 911 call. It's so pretty oh. important that she did make that call. I mean, it's such a, a remote area, you know, probably difficult for anyone to hear anything or know anything that happened. It seems like it's pretty important that she was able to call. It is, uh, it's, that's, and that's, that's very important, very crucial in this investigation. And uh, we did receive the 911 call from Linda Hyde. And, uh, you know, like y'all said, this is a remote area. And like, like I told all of y'all yesterday, um, you know, this is kind of un, you know, it's very uncommon for this to happen up in uh, that part of Effingham County. You know, they are in a, like you said, Michelle, they are in a rural area, and uh, you know, luckily she was able to make that 911 call. But uh, right now, uh, that tape is evidence, and uh, we're we're going through that right now. Can you say, even if you can't give details, can you say if she was able to describe who shot her or anything like that on the tape? Uh, I cannot comment on that. Uh, we, that's that's all we're going to comment on the 911 call. Where, the, where, the, uh, where were the where were they found in the house? Uh, we're not we're not commenting on where the actual bodies were located at all. 
number of gunshot wounds? No, ma'am. Uh, we can confirm that uh, all three individuals did uh, receive gunshot wounds. Uh, we're, we're not commenting on exactly where they were or where in the house they were. David, can, can you talk about what kind of weapon it was and if that the weapon's been located? Uh, Pat, we're, we're not commenting on that either. Um, we're, we're, there's a lot of stuff we are still holding off on, and uh, we appreciate y'all being patient with us. Um, we, we don't want to um, comment on anything in reference to this investigation that could possibly jeopardize it. Um, so at this point, we're, we're giving as much as we can, but there's still certain things that we're trying to still sift out. And, uh, you know, even though it's Wednesday now, we, we still are technically in the early, early stages of this investigation still. And, uh, we're, we're trying to work through it, and uh, you know, it has, and it's pretty complex. And it, it's, it's going to take time, but we're going, we're going to do it right. We're doing a thorough investigation, and uh, that's where we are at this point. Have your detectives been able to interview Linda? Interview Linda? Mm -hmm. uh, we're not commenting on that right now. Have you been able to ascertain if it was more than one weapon? Uh, we are not commenting on weapons right now. More than one person? Uh, we are not commenting on any kind of suspect information right now. Seems pretty remarkable. I mean, this is Wednesday that you still have possession of the crime scene, and like so they're still able to find things inside the house that maybe you didn't see yes. on day one. Yeah, Michelle. Like I said, um, we are uh, we're going we are doing a very thorough investigation in this crime scene. Um, you know, like everyone knows, it's a, it's a double homicide, triple shooting. Um, you know, it's 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 a pretty good sized house, and uh, we're we're you know, we still have that crime scene in, in our custody. We're going to make sure we don't miss anything. We're going to go through everything. We're going to make sure it's done right, and uh, we're going to be thorough with it. You said that you had taken some things to the GBI and specifics. Uh, we're not. We do have evidence that we did take the GBI crime lab and TV process. Um, we're not getting to the uh, specifics of that at this time. Have you have any indication on her condition at all? Not at this time. Uh, we're not commenting on any condition with uh, Linda Hyde right now. Do you have yeah. any, uh, have you had any substantive calls in the past few days? We've put out the phone number. Have you had any relevant calls that have provided any information from anyone? We have had leads. Um, you know, we're, we're not going to get to the details of the, of the leads that we've had, but uh, we have had leads uh, in reference to this case. Um, and we're following on all leads. And uh, like I said earlier, um, I do want to make it clear that uh, we have made significant progress uh, as of yesterday afternoon, and uh, we, we are making headway in this investigation. Have you been in contact with the family, and how often, and how are they doing? Um, we have made contact with the family. Um, we've actually, you know, we provide the family with chaplains. We, uh, you know, provide them with any kind of assistance they needed, and uh, that's, that's all we You're have. keeping them kind of impressed of that you are making headway and everything. Absolutely, and absolutely. David, can you talk about how many? Detectives and how many GBI agents are currently tasked with this investigation? We have uh, several detectives with Edmond County Sheriff's Office, and several G GBI agents, and uh, you know what we're doing, we're we're working this together. Um, you know, we actually right now they're all they're all paired up out there, uh, covering all. You know, we're getting these leads right now. Um, we probably it's it's definitely over a dozen. Uh, that's actually well over a dozen uh, uh, investigators and detectives and agents working on this case uh, right now as we speak. How much longer do you think it'll take before you finish processing the crime scene in the house? Uh, Any idea? No idea right now. Um, you know, but they're, they're right now tying up loose ends on the crime scene, and uh, you know, I, I, I can't give an exact time of when they're going to release that crime scene. But we're, we're being very thorough with it, and you know, we're, we're not going we're not to leave anything on the um, I don't know if you have this information or not, but has the family when they'd like to have a service? Uh, I, I, that, I'm, not, I'm not aware of that right now. And, and as far as you know, when might they be able to do that in view of the autopsy? Uh, the autopsy was performed yesterday. And uh, as far as the release of the body, um, I, I'm not sure exactly when the body was released, but the autopsy was performed yesterday. And uh, we, you know, we, we did release yesterday that um, both uh, uh, Philip Hyde and Carrie Hyde did sustain gunshot and, uh, Like we said, uh, we did want to convey to y'all, we appreciate all the media's help in this, and uh, y'all be great to work with. And if y'all, you know, do, do you know if there was, if, if it was just Philip Carey and Linda living at the house at the time? Uh, at this time, uh, we're, we're not commenting on who all was living in the house, and you know, we're still trying to get all into that. Okay. And, uh, 
we thank you for y'all's help, and we're also asking if, there, if there's anybody out there uh, in the community that does know that does have pertinent information to this case, um, they're encouraged to call us, and uh, we'll go from there. And uh, we're making headway, and we're going to keep working on this. We're going to keep working this case until uh, we get this puzzle put together and uh, get all these unanswered questions answered. Do you think there might be another briefing tomorrow? Uh, we'll let y'all know on that. It's going to depend on, on, on the headway we make today. Um, right Has now, it been important for you to, to keep us informed and therefore keep the community informed on such a big case like this? Absolutely. And uh, that's that's why we're here this afternoon. And that's why we've kept in close contact with the media. This has uh, sparked a lot of interest. Uh, this is a, they're, they're a very well uh, respected family in this community. They're very well known in this community. And, uh, you know, the community is, is shocked at what happened here. You know, it's, it's a horrific crime. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to keep you all abreast on what's going on. We want the community to know what's going on. We're, at the same time, we're also building a case here. And, and our number one priority here is to build this case and to prosecute this case. Um, and that's our priority there. But we're also wanting to uh, you know, keep you all informed as much as we can as, as to what's going on. And right now, it's a, it's a crucial time in this case, and we're making headway. We will uh, we'll definitely... Uh, and keep you all advised on, on, on the latest updates of this investigation. What kind of rumors have been going around that you want to dispel? Um, we're, we're not we're not covering any rumors today. Um, we we addressed that yesterday that there um, were rumors. The the media is very well of a lot of the rumors, and uh, we're just uh, asking you know from anyone with pertinent information, and we're looking for the facts, and that that's all we were trying to make clear. Um, you know, we're not, we're not going to try to bring up any, any rumors that were possibly brought up, but our point was is to, um, we're looking for the facts and pertinent information, and uh, we're moving on this investigation. Can, can I ask one more thing? Linda Height, you, you may not want to get into this more, Linda Height, you said, said she'd been shot when she called 911. Did she refer to anyone else being shot in the home? We're not commenting on anything on 911 tape. Okay. Um, the only thing I can, uh, at this point in the investigation, the only thing that I can tell y'all is that Linda Height did make a 911 call, and uh, Linda Height is uh, was shot. She's at the hospital. So, uh, thanks for y'all's uh, cooperation. Uh, thanks for the media for you know y'all are great to work with right now, and uh, we will let y'all know if any uh, any breaking updates, and we'll keep in touch with y'all. Thank you.